Andrew is back with your full next weather forecast. I'm so happy to be back with you. Yeah, you too. I feel it's like it's been, been a while. It feels like forever. It has been. So <laughs> good to see you on this beautiful, I know. beautiful start to the weekend. Um, things are going to be heating up quite a bit. And I know we've talked about this, but we're talking about possibly record-breaking temperatures coming our way mm -hmm. next week as we head into your Labor Day and even beyond. So get ready because those ACs are going to be running overtime. We haven't gotten too much heat. No, but September, yeah, certainly giving Taking us some in. late season. Let's walk over to the big monitor, show you what's happening. We've got the boardwalk right now. Things are looking pretty nice for this evening. Temperatures across the Jersey Shore have actually stayed in the 70s. Bit of a sea breeze. That's going to change, though, as our winds will no longer be coming off the water. They'll be coming off the land. Land. And to our south and our west, as warm as it's been, it's going to really heat things up. Doesn't matter if you're in the shore, the city, or the mountains. Right now, 80 degrees in Philadelphia, 79 in Allentown, Wildwood at 74 degrees, 79 in Westchester. Plenty of sunshine, hardly a cloud to be found. And we continue that trend for the next couple of hours. However, overnight tonight, this weak front will move to the south. And while we may see a sprinkle to our north, we're going to have more of a cloudy cover. That keeps those warm temperatures in. So many of us only bottoming out in the middle 60s. Here's your future cast. So we get into the overnight again. You can see the cloudy deck. Most of us remain dry. We start off in the 60s, nearly 70 to the south, and then the heat starts to rise. Look at your Sunday afternoon temperatures. By the end of the day, we're talking about upper 80s. Areas like Lancaster, Reading, Allentown, 92 in the city, Atlantic City, 91. In many cases, the Jersey Shore, you're going to feel and be about 15 to 20 degrees warmer tomorrow than today. And that trend will continue. By Monday, we don't really have anything happen in our way. A few high clouds. Otherwise, we continue that into your Tuesday as well, with most of us looking at near or at record breaking temperatures. Take a look at this. On Monday, Labor Day, we're going for a high of 96, the old record 93. On Tuesday, we're going for 96, the old record 95. Same thing for Wednesday. So it is likely we're going to set a couple of records this coming week. So, yeah, we are expecting a heat wave. What does that mean? It means that three or more consecutive days. Days with a high of 90 or more. So far, we've only had two of those this entire season. Yeah, so we're, we're going to begin most likely our third here in September. July 5th to the 8th, the hottest it got was 93. July 27th to the 29th, the hottest it got was 94. So this might be the hottest stretch all summer long that we've seen. Next week, temperatures again, 95 or more. 65 degrees tonight in the city. Mixed skies tomorrow, 92 degrees. It only goes up from there. At the shore, 87, and in the Lehigh Valley, around 90. Here's your seven day forecast. The other thing we want to talk about is that dry stretch of weather. 96 Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, no rain in sight. Near record heat possible even into Thursday. And then by Friday and Saturday, we are back into the 90s, lower 90s Friday, 80s on Saturday. That may be our next chance, Friday into Saturday, of any meaningful showers or thunderstorms. Aziza? Andrew, summer certainly isn't over.